But John chapter 6, verse 59, as soon as you're there, say yes. yes. Okay. Notice what John writes. These things he said, that's Jesus, where? Yeah, in the synagogue in Capernaum. So chapter 6, what I want you to catch is everything we're going to look at right now, Jesus taught right here in this city chapter 6 of John's Gospel. So you can write anywhere by chapter 6. Capernaum, July 5th, 2012. You're here where Jesus taught this. Capernaum was a place where Jesus performed the fourth of the seven, and, and the two blanks are sign miracles. Cana, if you remember, parked there eating your uh, za'atar bread. Do you remember that? And where we went through? That was where the first sign miracle was, where he miraculously turned the water into wine. The, the sign miracle was the feeding of the what? 5,000. That's the first 14 verses of John. The first 14 verses of John 6 are that sign of the feeding. It's the fourth sign, four of seven. The fourth sign of seven, feeding 5,000. It was a sign miracle. They didn't get what the miracle was. So Jesus says, okay, I'll explain to you the miracle. And that's what starts in verse 22. On the following day, when the people were standing on the other side of the sea, they all gathered together. And verse 24, when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciples, they also got in their boats and came to where? In verse 24. Capernaum, right where we are. So Jesus says, hey, verse 32, I'm the true bread from heaven. Verse 33, the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life. And the people said, Lord, give us this bread always. In other words, keep feeding us so we don't have to. Can you imagine how hard it was to trudge around here? Look how hot it is. How would you like to be farming in this? And it was hard to get anything out of this ground. And so they said, man, we'd like to go with you and have you feed us. And Jesus said to them, verse 35, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. He says, if you understand what I'm talking about, you're never going to have this endless dissatisfaction in life. You're not going to always want something. You're going to be inexhaustibly satisfied. Now, back in your notes, the, the fourth sign miracle at the feeding of the 5,000 in John 6, Jesus led naturally into the Sermon on the Bread of Life. And the summary of the Bread of Life sermon is this. You have to partake of Christ personally. Did you know that to eat is something very personal? I can eat food and you're starving. That's what salvation is like. You have to personally eat of Christ. You have to partake of him personally. That was the bread of life message. Now look at number two. The first fill in the blanks were seven sign miracles. Capernaum was a place where Jesus declared his first of seven great, and the next two blanks are I am's. The reason we're pausing so long here is this is where Jesus launches his, his entire revelation of himself. The greatest revelation of who Christ was were in these seven I am's. And, and I have them for you. Twenty-three times in all, we find our Lord's meaningful I am in the Greek text. And I've listed them for you if you want to find them all. 426, 620, 635, 641, 648, 651, and on through all 23 of them. In several of these, he joins his I am with seven tremendous metaphors. And each of these are expressive of how he relates to us who he saves in the world. And the first one is right here. I am the bread of life. And Jesus says it four times right here in Capernaum. I am the light of the world. John 8, 12. Do you see that one? That, that means that before Christ, we're blind. The third is, I am the door of the sheep. Do you see that there? Do you remember yesterday? Do you remember how when we were going through the Nazareth village, that man said many times the sheepfold doesn't have what? A door. And the shepherd, he, he sits in the doorway and he leans his head against the back and he puts his foot up and he stays in that doorway so nothing can get the sheep and none of the sheep get out. See, my security of salvation is not based on how hard I hold on to the Lord. The Good Shepherd, John 10, 11, and, and 14. Remember I told you when we were walking the, around the Dome of the Rock, I said, Jesus, if you read John 10, he gave that on top of the Temple Mount going through those columns. That's a beautiful passage to read. And then you know the, the Lazarus uh, funeral message, I am the resurrection and the life. 
That's the next one. John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And finally, his last I am is in John 15, I am the vine. Jesus, right here at Capernaum, right behind you in that synagogue, taught chapter 6. And what made his message different than any other is this is where he started the great I am's. You know how we sing that in church, uh, on communion, on Christmas Eve, uh, we had all the I am's projected all over the, the walls and they were moving during our service, the candlelight service. This is where it started. This is where Jesus said the great Old Testament name of God, Exodus 3.14, when God revealed himself to Moses, Moses said, who should I say to Pharaoh sent me? And God said to Moses in Hebrew, Ayah Hashe, Ayah, I am that I am. And that's the great ineffable name of God. And this is where Jesus introduced us to that. And this is the place where we realize that he is everything, the bread of life, the light of the world. He's the door we get in. He's the one that takes care of us. He's the one that gives us endless life. He shows us the way, brings truth and real life to us, and he's the vine we're connected to. And that's what we study in this spot. So let's take a moment to bow for a word of prayer. Father, here in Capernaum, where our Lord Jesus Christ gave the great bread of life message, and as you said, out of us will flow, will flow rivers of living water. We will be not just making it through life, we'll be overflowing. I pray that you'd bless our study here by the seaside. As we read these words, may they be more than words to us. May we claim them as our very own. And may this be the place where we realize anew and afresh, the great I am is our God. And you, O Christ, are the bread of life to us. In your precious name we pray, amen.